Hi and welcome back to another Craig's World. My name's Craig, welcome to What Is My Madness. Today, we're in Piglet. If you remember, we did the brakes on her the other day and I found that little hole in the side. <laughs> Big hole. I'll swap this round and I'll show you now. Right, okay, this is the little hole that you see. I have to do it this way because I'm going to zoom out. So, if there's a bit of rot, there's going to be a little bit more. So then I found, once I've stripped the interior, this corner and i thought that was the worst one and don't forget this has been plated and it wasn't a, it, a plate is for a taxi is very similar to an mot but this wasn't picked up on the um, on this plate and it goes all the way along all the way along and all the way around it's a simple procedure i'm going to cut it as you might just see to this line to where I know there's good metal there's no point going to this lip it's easier going to there now this I thought this was it and then the anchor point is at the top and then there was that you're not really supposed to see your tyre from the inside and that is actually where the anchor point is for the seat belt and this was missed on the plate so you're going to see me the procedure of me cutting everything out today and re-welding all the new plates in and this afternoon because she'll be out working this afternoon so i am going to put on a time lapse so we'll see where this gets to right okay guys <coughs> so that's after we've cut and cleaned up you've got to clean the metal as you can see so it's back to metal but there's an awful lot been taken out an awful lot but that means you just have to put an awful lot back in so i've had to clean both sides when you're welding because i'm gonna to have to weld it double-sided so that's what she looks like at the moment so i'll just carry on we'll tack start tacking and we'll go from there Okay, so we've just had a torrential downpour, but now oh, it's a bit rough. I've started to put the bolts in, but I've had to double plate this because it is an anchor point. I just needed to see if this fitted, which it does, which it's solid compared to last time. I'm going to tidy all that. I've only given it a quick spray just in case, but I'm going to tidy all that up when it goes back. From underneath, it looks absolutely spot on. Now, this section. I've actually been in the workshop. I've just made some parts some templates so let's see where we go from here so this first one as you can see the big the big hole is I've put into the, in the workshop and i've made these okay that's going to be for that side okay. same with this and the reason why i put a little flange on like that is because when that goes round it's got to sit the piece the metal that I'm putting on there needs something to rest on so I can put a perfect welding line. This I'm going to weld further up. So I'm just want to get a baseline first to see where we are. So. Ooh, not that far off to be fair. <coughs> So let me just clamp this up and then we can temporary clamp it so I can mark it to where, we'll, where it's going. These are phenomenal for it. So. 
the lip you see here, which is the original part of the van, this ha this flange has to go underneath it. So I'm only putting it, I'm not tacking anything down yet. I just want to see where we're going or where it's going to. So. So what I need to do is go underneath at the moment because this is very high because the panel that I got which was this fit in there and then we weld along that but that's going to get pushed further down so I want to make this corner right first we get this in this will this does go to the this will go to there so we just need and you know first it doesn't I can push it a bit further and we can weld we can weld that part up with another piece of metal so right I'm going to put you on a time lapse now because it's going to be easy for me to do this and we'll see the welding procedure. Right, okay, so I'm going to have to leave it here tonight because it is getting a bit dark. So that's all welded on that corner. It's now welded all the way along. So we're now getting structure back in it. As I said, that's to the top so this ain't wobbling. And this is what I've just done this evening. So if I jump out, you might be able to see it better. So there we go. I've welded all the way along, as I said. It's easy to do that and I can I can actually hear it now so that corner is now all welded up apart from obviously this which is just a piece of metal folded I can tap that in no problem and then the last piece which is over there which oh yeah. that will weld obviously they'll cut that there but that's the last piece to go in. Then that corner's done here, and then I just underneath, and um, everything can get put back together. It is a bit late tonight, so I'll see you first thing in the morning. So we're back on Piglet. It's a nice sunny day. So I've just made a paper template for this, and I've just made my little bend, and this will fit. Which way does it go? That will fit. On the other side, like that. So I'm just going to tack this on, get it welded in. That piece is done up here. So I'll put it on a lapse, go from there.
Okay, this may look worse than what it is. I had to take off the strut. Um, but no, it's just a, a dampener. I had to fix, found another hole in the chassis and I found another hole there, which is done. Now, all this is all completely welded, as you can see, even from underneath. And I come up with a little... So I riveted it along just so it would hold. Now, the reason why I've shown you this and even the big hole at the top, the next procedure to do here is sealing. Well, what I mean by sealing, I'll swap it round. This will get noisier because that compressor will be kicking up. But this is your sealant. I love this stuff. All that, you don't have to paint it, treat it, just spray it with this. You, need a, you do need a compressor, unfortunately. That's why I, mean. well, I said it will get noisy. But these are about eight pound, eight, nine quid. They, they, they go a long way. So all we are gonna do now, apart from when we put the seats back in, I need to get this cleared up on this corner because I want this before we put that dampener back on. And this is how easy this is. masking up nothing the thicker you can get it you let it coat let it dry and then I put another one on top of that and it lasts about a year and I'll show you what this is like once it's sprayed As long as, top tip, as long as you don't get it on your exhaust, try not to. I held that for a bit and I did bring I did bring them somewhere just behind the camera and like I said these are the stuff all you do pull the tap off and you've got a metal inside and you've got these little these for turning so you just literally unscrew it and it just unscrews so you like that in a hole so all you do is inside just put it on the on the little nipple and just There you go, and that's it all sealed, all done. Now, Alexa, like I'm going to do. So there's the chassis wheels as you just seen. I just have to put the suspension part back on. And then for this corner, I'm just going to continue and do the entire van underneath with this other tub. And I'm going to put the this back on and then the wheel. So I'll put this on a little time lapse. Right, okay, so that's it with the little uh, dampener back on. So she's all under sealed. 
all underneath now everything is done i just have to put the seats back in it but with this as well i'll put the wheel on put it back down and then what you've just seen there i will respray all of the metal not the but just the metal part so that's going to be it for this one thanks for this one guys i will wrap this one up here i've got to put all the interior back in you don't want to see me do that so thank you stay safe and i'll see you on the next one cheers guys